Hello everyone, welcome to a series of questions and answers based on computational finance course. Uh, today we have question number eight uh, from lecture number three. The question is, what is the Feynman-Katz formula? And of course, how can it be used? So the Feynman-Katz uh, formula uh, establishes a link between partial differential equations and stochastic processes. Uh, it offers uh, a method for solving certain partial differential equations, so PDEs, uh, by simulating random paths. So it's extremely powerful machinery where we start with a problem of, uh, let's say, PDE, and we can solve that PDE using uh, stochastic processes. So let us take a look. So if we have a, a partial differential equation of the following form, so we have uh, here a dt term, we have a mu, we have a first derivative, a first order derivative with respect to x, then we have a sigma squared half, and then a second order derivative with respect to x squared, with some terminal final condition that v will take a value eta x, so this is actually some um, deterministic function of x, and x as you can see is a state uh, variable. Then we have the feynman katz uh, theorem, which actually says that the solution of this uh, expression of this, um, this partial differential equation can be expressed as expectation of uh, this deterministic function eta evaluated at time t, which is a function of a process. So this is also linked to the question, what is a difference between stochastic processes and a random variable. So here it is actually a random variable, so it's a stochastic process at time t. So we have this distribution uh, at time t, and we have to calculate expectation of this deterministic function. And what Feynman Katz have shown is that this is the first part of their theorem, is that this is the solution, and the process x, because this process xt has not been yet defined, is of the following form. So this is dxt, and we have a mu term. So this actually, so what we have to do, we look at the first order derivative, and then we have a drift, and then we have a second order derivative term, and that's our volatility here, right? So we have a sigma squared, and that's um, our volatility for this process. So if we have a PD of the following form, so we have a, some um, dt term, uh, so the derivative respect to time, then we have a term corresponding to the drift and the volatility, second order derivative, and this is equal to zero. And if this uh, PD is of this uh, form, we have some terminal condition, then we are able to express solution for this PD as the expectation of this terminal condition evaluated uh, at the process at time at the time t. And the process is related to the conditions, uh, coefficients of the PD. So if we take a look at the example here, uh, this is a very simplistic example where we have uh, only the second order derivative uh, terms and we have some terminal condition. So if we apply feynman katz theorem, we know that the solution will be expectation of this eta function. Of course, in our case, eta is x squared. So expectation is a, a expectation we take of a process xt squared, uh, where xt is driven by 0 dt. This term is 0 because we see there's no uh, first order, there is no term by the first order derivative. So we have a zero plus, and then we have a sigma uh, dws, and the sigma is actually related to this term here. So we know, of course, there's a, this solution is very simple. Uh, the solution simply reads, it's a normally distributed uh, random variable. Uh, so this xt is a uh, scaled Brownian motion with some initial state, and then we have uh, the solution uh, by taking the expectation is simply sigma squared t minus t plus x squared. So this is very powerful machinery, and uh, in finance, uh, if we have a, a pricing, let's say, if you remember Black-Scholes equation, we start Black-Scholes model by creating or replicating portfolio, and then we arrive at the partial differential equation, the pricing PD. Then if we follow the same strategy, uh, the pricing PD can be nicely and uh, elegantly related to the uh, solving of, uh, let's say, simulating the calculating of expectation of the our terminal payoff, which could be a European type of option, given the stochastic process which drives 
uh, which drives the model and it's obtained based on a PD. So now we have an excellent circle where we start with a, a a replicating portfolio we calculate the, the we derive the partial differential equation and then we move to equivalent representation once where we talk about the conditional when we talk about expectation based on the monte carlo paths or on the simulated uh, stochastic process so expectation that we calculate based on from the payoff it is related to the Feynman cuts, which connects that expectation to the partial differential equation, which is the pricing equation for our for our option. Uh, this is this is actually an extremely powerful tool, and it is very important to keep in mind its capability and where it can be applied. Thank you very much, and see you next time.